Hey traders, TG Watkins. It is September 9th, Monday, when I'm recording this. Hope you guys are all doing well. Now, as far as what's going on with the market, I've got a couple of thoughts here. Uh, number one, in a few weeks ago, due to the yen carry trade uh, debacle and everything, we have already obtained a, right there, a 10% correction. So that's usually a pretty good marker, and it happens so quickly that that is why I also think that the market jumped right back up uh, to previous all-time high right there. But I think underneath the hood, the market was not entirely ready to keep going up, you know, make new highs, partly because uh, some of the internals and, and macro metrics that I look at are still all pretty much pegged to the long side and need to cycle back down. And I think that September being seasonally weak is a good time to do that. Also, the fact that we have the November election coming up is probably a good reason as to why the markets are not making new highs. Uh, so we look at that and I think, okay, the market's going to need more time to chill out. Now, the question is, are we going to actually get more of a pullback like this. Does the market need to come back down and are we going to see things rotate to the downside or are we actually really just going to go sideways? And I'm wondering if that's kind of the thing that we're going to be looking at. Uh, I don't really have the answer for that. What's something we're going to have to be experiencing and finding out over the course of time. Uh, and I say that because, right, as I said, we already cor got 10% correction, which this was a 10% correction. They just happen in very, very different ways. But even though we got that correction underneath the hood, not quite ready to make new highs. And I don't know, and I don't think that the big players are really ready to commit to making the market go higher right ahead of the a, the election. However, underneath the hood, we are you know underneath the surface, not underneath the hood, but underneath the surface of the of the market, we can see individual stocks can be doing all right. Uh, one of the bigger names is Tesla. I think Tesla is doing all right. Um, it's not terrible. I don't know if it's really going to also really be able to move up, you know, strongly ahead of the elections, but we'll have to see about that. Uh, that one's looking all right. And another one, if we look at Cube, this is CubeSmart. Think about self-storage. Uh, they are actually doing pretty well compared to uh, the rest of the market. I think this has something to do with basically interest rates and interest rates coming down. And so, you know, look around at different areas that might be either defensive or interest rate sensitive since we know that interest rates are going to be starting to come down uh, in September. But then on the back of that, if we look at something like MAGS, which is the Magnificent 7 ETF, just to kind of show you kind of what all of them are doing, you can see that, yes, certainly they, we were overbought and then we got oversold. And where are we? We are right smack in the middle, aren't we? So that's why I'm wondering that for the next couple months, you know, we might be oscillating in through here. We might make some big moves, might be, make some big moves, but I do wonder if we're going to be sideways. Uh, if I'm wrong about that, then we should see this start to come down a little bit more, or we should actually see it start to move up. But but otherwise, I think we need to be prepared that this could kind of oscillate somewhere in here while the market kind of catches its breath and also gets itself figured out ahead of the election. Because remember, the big players like to know wh what administration is going to be in power because new laws and rules and uh, supports and all this kind of stuff, you know, narratives are going to be involved when it comes to a new administration. And so certain areas of the market, certain industries will be doing better and some will be doing worse and they want to be on the right, the correct side of that. But yeah, if you look at the daily chart, I mean, we're still not, we're not in an uptrend. I wouldn't say we're in a downtrend either, but we're kind of waiting for a little bit more clarity. So we could, um, yeah, we could just kind of see some weakness in through here. If we do continue to go down, I'm kind of thinking maybe we bounce a little bit and we'll have to see if we stay underneath the daily 50. And there is the possibility we could come all the way back down to this previous low. So just kind of stay nimble. I don't think it's a time for big trend bets because uh, there's going to be a lot of uncertainty coming up. And I do think that the macro indicators need to cycle back down for a little bit. So we'll see if that holds true over the next few months. All right, everyone. Thanks again. We'll see you at the next one. Hey, TG here with Simpler Trading. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like or comment below. Also, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell so you can stay up to date with my market analysis. Or you can join my free newsletter with the link in the description. Good trading, and I'll see you at the next video.